If you know what nanotechnology is at all, then you know that it may very well be the thing that brings us full dive level virtual reality before anything else in our lifetimes. If you don't know what nano machines are, listen then. We'll be running through the topic in detail in this video. Hello virtual dreamers, Gregory here. I use the word nano a bunch of times at the beginning of this video, but what exactly is nanotechnology? In short, it's just any device or machine that we make that's 100 nanometers or less in size. For reference, you know those little notches on the centimeter side of your ruler? Yeah, a nanometer is a million times smaller than that. It's mind-bogglingly small. But humanity's been working at this level for a while now, believe it or not. The processors running your phones and PCs? Nanotech. Outside of our own efforts, life itself can be considered a form of nanotechnology, as many cells and their internal structures are really that small. Now that you know what nanotech is, let's go into how it's on track to make our full dive dreams a reality. To start, it should be noted that the tiny wiring and connections in our body's nervous systems are bigger than nanoscale. So hijacking that entire chain with our nanomachines could be within reason. As you can imagine, there is an almost unfathomable amount of money being poured into the field of nanotechnology as a product of its relationship with the medical field. You know, stopping aging, keeping you alive while you're bleeding out, performing surgery, genetic modification, yeah, there's a lot of reasons why rich people want this stuff. If you watched my video a few months back on Neuralink, it's worth noting that Elon Musk's tech, Neural Lace, can be seen as a precursor to nanoscale nervous system connections. There's some real value to be made with these links, and you don't even have to look to the future for applications either. Those DARPA videos and articles some of you seem to think I don't know about essentially show the power of what direct connections allow. They're joining nerve stubs to machines here, as well as even making direct connections to the brain. As you can imagine, this stuff could be extended for virtual reality use in the future since it's good enough for prosthetics in the now. And as this technology marches towards becoming actually nanoscale in terms of sophistication, it'll bring about life-changing results for some people. This all probably sounds pretty great. And going by some of your comments in the Elon Musk Neuralink video, some of you are ready to sign up for the beta yesterday. <laughs> well, hold your horses, people. There's some issues that need to be addressed as with everything. Just as there were many people happy to let companies pump them full of wires, there's a similarly sized group of people that aren't ready to let companies inside of them for the sake of VR. It's easy to forget, but hacking, bugs, and big brother systemic oppression are very much real tech problems, and there isn't really going to be a whole lot you can do if the tech at hand is quite literally inside of you. Are you really ready for Apple and Facebook to go from metaphorically to literally owning your ass? Specific companies aside, the odds are it's going to be a larger company behind nanotechnology. Just as building very big things takes money, so does building very small things. So this is a big wallet game, people. Even then, nanotechnology remains a pretty difficult thing to build and manage. Every body is different, which means any nanotechnology or nanobots will need to be able to adapt to this since there are many elements in our body that cause rejection of invasionary small elements. Nano machines may not be excluded here. All these difficulties mean that it may very well be a while before we manage to achieve full dive level immersion without any issues, and just due to the cost, it's probably going to be one of those things that's exclusive to the wealthy for a while. I'll link you to my video on why you're too broke for full dive to go into detail on that. Obviously, there's no magic bullet here that will solve all of our issues, and the solves everything aspect of nanotechnology from. It's nanotech, you like it? It's a bit of an exaggeration on the part of science fiction writers, but it's very important that we acknowledge the real potential here. Difficult and imperfect do not equate to impossible and worthless. Whatever solution to full dive we develop will almost certainly have a nanotech component to it, whether it's the sophisticated processors that run it, or the data gathering and manipulation elements themselves. It's also important to note that not every nanotech VR solution has to go inside 
of our bodies to work. A nanotech suit could theoretically integrate itself into our clothes, external bodies, or coat sensory organs and be pretty effective still at producing a great experience. It may very well be the way that we start to see VR touch solved for the masses as wearable technology is miniaturized to the point of invisibility. At the end of the day, the story of technology is the story of progress. We have already begun towards the path of increasing immersiveness in our media during this century. So long as we continue moving forward, creating advances, and pushing the envelope, we'll hopefully get to see the world at the end of either the exponential or logistical curve of growth that we're working through. Barring some kind of unknown reason for an asymptote or regression to occur. At the very least, even if full dive level virtual reality is a bit longer down the road, I'm confident that high immersion virtual reality that is comparable enough to make the difference almost irrelevant is coming down the pipeline much sooner than you think. Thank you very much for watching this video. Be sure to like, subscribe, and ring the notification so YouTube Algorithm Sama can notify you as soon as the next video is ready. Till next time, my fellow adventurers and grievers, this has been a very sick Gregory logging out. <coughs> <coughs>